This is a multi-part video series consisting of picture-in-picture -picture footage of Arma 3 gameplay from both the Game Master's perspective and the participants of the mission. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the series as much as we enjoyed making it. If you like watching these episodes, maybe you'd like to join in too. Our team is looking for new members. Just click on the annotation on the screen or visit mgamers.com forward slash Arma Recruit. We'd love to have you join us. What's up guys, it's Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. We're here with another Arma 3 Zeus mission. And today we are on the terrain of Colm. Colm is a... Uh, Af uh, an Afghanistan map styled uh, terrain um, but what it is it's a bunch of valleys and mountains and paths and today's mission is going to be a simple and I use the word simple in double quotes um, convoy mission so the team will be driving this convoy of, of Hemets and I've chosen Hemets because I wanted the vehicles to be um, slower than uh, your typical vehicle. And you can also see there's a rock wall here. This is actually not originally part of the terrain. Um, I've actually placed rock walls in a lot of places to block access to certain areas. So as an example, there's a rock wall here that is not normally here um, and so forth. And essentially, I've created a, uh, a path that the team will have to follow. So they are starting up in the uh, northwestern area of the terrain. And eventually, where their target zone is, is they're trying to get down to here. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it with a map marker. Like so. So that is extraction. So looking at the map, you would think, oh, this is easy. I'm just going to go down this road and just go down, make a you know left, and then I'm got to extraction. Well, it's not going to be that easy. Um, there's actually blockades all over the place. The, uh, the team will find themselves moving from the western roads to the eastern roads. And as you can see, there are caves, caves and paths like this one right here um, is one of them that is open. So as we can see here, this is one of the open paths that the team could take. And that would get you over here. And then there's another rock wall, so you can't go that way. So they'd have to go down this way. So the storyline is quite simple. Um, the team is avoiding uh, heavy armor. And in order to avoid the heavy armor, they have redirected themselves to this zone. And uh, oh, that's interesting. Lost a rock there. Um, they've redirected themselves to this zone and, um, uh, yeah, so they're, uh, they're taking their, uh, their convoy to this region here. So actually I'm going to really quick fix this because that ain't right. Yeah, another rock wall again. Okay, so I was playing earlier with explosives, and I think it actually made that rock wall um, damaged. I'll have to fix that at a later time. But anyway, um, in this storyline, the team is actually going to be interrupted by um, Taliban forces who are, aren't necessarily aware of their their presence in the area. Uh, but they will be very quickly. And the Taliban are going to be very, very interested in um, in the cargo that they have. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a bunch of these kind of basic camps here, these, these prefab kind of like this one. And I'm going to dot these in certain areas. So there's going to be one there, and then I'll probably put another one like up in this zone, I think this is yeah, this is one of the other zones they go to. Like so.
And I want to use these camps that are kind of, you know, derelict, um, just sort of just abandoned kind of camps. Is that going to work there? No. Let's try that again. Actually, I'll put a smaller one over here. So yeah, at this point, I'm just going to place the camps that I want, and that's going to be locations uh, where the enemies will be. So let's see here. So that's another one of my walls. So I'll put a camp over here. And I might put another camp over here. Actually, I don't think I want to use that one. That one's too new looking. I like the little ones. Like like these tent tented camps. Ultimately the team's gonna find themselves down this path here. Uh, which is a skinny, kind of long path uh, with, that looks like a wall, it's actually a, a cave. Um, but this is where they're going to find themselves, ultimately. It might be too narrow for a camp, actually. Which I can stick one right here. Not that one. Not that one either. I need a small one. There we go. Is this going to work? So you know, something like that. And then I'm probably going to stick some guys up on the ledges as well. Okay, yeah, that's an exit, sort of. And then I also want to drop some of my JBAD Afghan houses. See, that is an exit, so I'm going to make like a small village here. Oops. Oops. Try again. Come on. Here we go. That actually looks cool with that bush sticking out of that. That wasn't even intentional, but it sort of looks like it's just overgrown. So we'll do that. And I'll end up sticking some guys over here too. Couple more houses, and I think we're good with this little zone. I'm gonna start placing some guys. So in this area, I think what I'll do is I'll create some Taliban guys, and we're using. Uh, actually, I think it's these guys I want, not Taliban, Pakistani guys. Nope, that is not the functional guys. Is it these guys? do a rifle squad at one of the camps I placed. I 
we'll do this. We'll create Let's do something a little larger. Something like that. So that'll be the sort of first encounter. And then I'll go over here. And we'll do maybe just a couple centuries over here. Like so. I'm going to want to put some vehicles in as well. Hop down here. Let's see, where did I put that village? There we go. In the village here, we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to drop not zombies. We're going to do these dudes. Just going to group them all together real quick. And I'm going to arm these guys. So let's give them Give them all AKs. Actually, we'll give the leader an RPK. Even though it's even though it said I gave me a K47, he's actually got an RPK. And I'm gonna drop a few extra guys, maybe a couple of these recruit style guys, just kind of in the area. Just like so. It's kind of extra. We'll give them AKs. So that'll be a nice little skirmish as well. Over here, we'll drop a few more of those particular guys. Oops. Wrong place. Here we go. Do a fighter and a recruit and another recruit. And we'll give them all AK 47s as well. There we go. I am going to want to add vehicles. Um, just need to figure out where I want to put them. I'm thinking I put a couple down here. We'll do um, the Taliban technicals. These guys are largely, I'm pretty sure they're unarmed except for being in a techie. And we're going to have those do kind of a weird style patrol here. I'm going to take this first guy, make him go here, and then maybe up here. And I'll make him repeat that.
drop a few more guys down here. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give um, this area is not going to be very well, uh, very well manned. Um, I will change the parameters as I see the mission unfold um, in regards to what troops are out here. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be relatively light on uh, on troops because it's it has the potential of being quite a long mission. It doesn't have to be a long mission, um, but it does have that potential. So I want to make sure. There we go. So that guy is going to do another ground patrol. Don't know why that waypoint got placed there. We will move it to here. And then up here, I'm going to go ahead and place um, some patrol guys because I want to see these guys just react. And I'm just going to let them go wherever. But I think for now, I'm going to do this like so. Hopefully the AI is smart enough not to crash into a rock, but it is the AI. This guy's hauling butt, too. Let's see if he makes the right turn here. Can I smack into that rock? No? Okay, good. Yeah, you are. The AI really just does not know how to drive. I mean, just not at all. <laughs> okay, I need to drop some guys at the other two camps, and then I think we're going to go ahead and do mission start. Um, only because we don't really need to put a whole lot of guys on this one. It's not at the initial phase here. Like I said, I'll have them react. Um, I'll have the AI react to the team's position and so forth later. Don't understand why the why the cycle point keeps getting dropped down there, but we'll just run with it. This dude I think will drop and one more truck. We'll put him over here. Not up there, down here. There we go. And I can add more techies later, but I think um, I think that's going to go ahead and do it. Um, so the team only has one path that they can take through here. Well, not one path. Um, there's one destination. There's actually a couple different ways they could get there. Some of these little side paths uh, that we see here could be an option. Those are also pinch points, so I could potentially um, have... Uh, soldiers meet them in those pinch points and so forth so it should be a pretty good mission the mission start time is going to be 4 30 a.m so it will be dark uh, moving into daylight 
uh, which should make things pretty interesting. Um, so we'll see uh, how the team reacts to this, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the setup. I hope you enjoyed this mission. This should be a really good one. It should be interesting. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. You're watching Armor 3 Missions. Thanks, guys.